Hello everybody and welcome to your first R for Finance tutorial. Um, what we're going to be covering today is just getting stock data into R. Um, one of the basic functions of the quant mod package that we're going to be installing in a second. So just before we get started, why use R in the first place, especially if you're in finance? Um, why not use Excel? Why not use Python even? So R is really, really, really uh, easy in terms of uh, quantitative finance um, not hard to wrap your head around at first a little bit syntactically different than Python um, a little harder in my opinion but ultimately it's worth your time to learn it um, it's really easy to install packages really easy to get documentation um, a side note too uh, and overall it's just a great excuse me statistical programming language that's what R is it's a programming language for statistics um, it can be extended to other applications outside of that, but R in terms of finance is the go-to. The reason being is because of modules like QuantMod and Performance Analytics. They're great. Python does not have these to my knowledge, um, and, and ultimately, I think that these packages, I, they're just top-notch in terms of quantitative finance and allowing you to analyze all sorts of different data really, really easily. For example, um, I've tried doing portfolio optimization problems in both Python and R, uh, and Excel for that matter, and R, it's literally like three lines of code to do it. It's so simple, um, and there's so many more applications you can use it for. So why use R for finance? Really simple. It's the future. Um, you can perform crazy calculations and crazy analytics on all sorts of stuff. Um, I would say if I was teaching a financial modeling course I would be teaching R at this point as well um, because it's it's that good so anyways let's get started um, so the first thing we want to do is install quant mod for a package so uh, what we can do which is really easy in R is install dot packages install dot packages and then we can type in quant mod okay um, I already have it so no need to do that and if you have a question in the documentation I'm going to show you how to pull that up in a second so library uh, quant mod and this is how we're going to install the package just like Python with the install statement uh, just a little different right <laughs> but yeah that's uh and we're gonna run this control enter and we're gonna get that in so we have it loaded um, question mark quant mod and what this is going to do now is pull up the documentation so boom right there no internet uh, well Obviously, we do need the internet for this, but we don't need to go in the internet manually and search for documentation for hours and hours like we have to do in Python. We can go in the index right here and check out all the functions. Um, makes it really easy. So if you have a question, go in the console, question mark, quant mod, um, or that. Use that for any module if you have a question for it. Um, anyways, what we're going to do next is be using the get symbols function within the quant mod package to actually get data for an individual stock. Um, but before we do that, will specify a max date so what we're going to do is use a variable name m date and then assign this is an assignment operator in r um similar to equals but not the same thing they are not the same thing in r um just know that for now um, we're not going to go into that but what we're going to do is 2001 slash 01 slash 03 as a maximum date to go behind and what we're going to say next is we're actually going to pull in the data for a stock. So I don't know. We'll do Amazon. So Amazon uh, prices. Assign this to a variable, and we're going to um, put get symbols, and then we're going to say AMZN for the ticker, um, and we're going to say from equals M date. We can condense this to even one line too if we wanted to, but. Um, whatever um, so and then we're gonna say auto dot assign equals F to make sure it's assigned back to the variable Amazon prices um, and yeah so let's print Amazon prices to the console we can also see it right here in the environment window uh, so let's run this um, oh I didn't oh, okay yeah so what you should first do is make sure this is, I thought I didn't um, make sure this line was ran. So control enter to run this line. Um, if you want to run a single line in R, control enter, highlight the line. So it wouldn't run if you didn't import quant mod, but it did. So these are all our prices and our volume column for Amazon. Um, 
So get symbol. Actually, the error message right here. Good thing this got brought up because get symbols right now is pulling it from Yahoo Finance. Um, so Yahoo Finance, if you guys didn't know, the API has kind of been deprecated, um, but R has found a way to patch it basically, or the author of this module. Um, so the adjusted close too. If you check out the documentation and how it's changed, doesn't even account for dividends anymore. I use getsymbols.google. It's literally almost the same thing. Um, we can run this over again. Uh, and boom, right here, we have everything we really need. Um, we have the close, volume, open, high, low. And let's say we only wanted the close column per se, right? So comma four, and that's gonna be the fourth column. And boom, we have just the close. Let me scroll upwards, make this faster. Um, and we just have the close uh, right here. So the next thing we might want to do is calculate returns. So how would we do that? Well, there's two main methods that I use, and I'm sure there's more as well. Um, so what we can say is uh, AMZN returns, and we can say, First off, ROC, and then we could also say, or well, we have to say it, um, Amazon prices. That's going to be passed in to calculate the return. And then we can just say type equals discrete, and discrete returns are arithmetic returns. Um, and yeah, let's print this out. Print AMCN RETS. And boom, there we go. Here are our returns right here. Um, so it's that easy. The other method we could use is um, period return uh, within QuantMod. So what this is going to be able to do is we can take this variable right here. Okay, and we can say period return. And we can say Amazon prices. Awesome. And now we want to select the type of return. So we can say monthly here. So period equals monthly. God, I cannot type today. <laughs> um, and we could also give a type as well. So type equals log. We could either do log or uh, arithmetic in this case. Log is typically used in finance. So we, we would um, we would use continuous returns instead of discrete returns here. So those are time sensitive returns with log returns. Um, anywho, uh, we could also specify the specific year we wanted in terms of the returns and in terms of the monthly returns. So subset equals 2014. And let's print these out, shall we? Run this whole block. And there we go, monthly returns for the year 2014. We can get rid of this too um, and get all the monthly returns. The reason this is so cool is because in Google Finance, you're really um, not able to do this unless you had some sort of algorithm to filter them out. And in this case, they do. So it makes your life that much easier. So that is a simple explanation on how to get returns in, in price data from R for one asset very, very quickly. Um, for right now, I think this video is getting a little long, so uh, I'm going to just stop it here. And then the next tutorial, we're going to go into how to get data for a portfolio and calculate returns for, for, for a portfolio. Um, yeah, take it easy.